everybody? It's Titan Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at a couple of things. First, we're going to take a look at some items I picked up. I went shopping at one of my favorite brands to wear, other than my personal brand. And we're going to take a look at a sneaker that's set to release later this month. I'm disappointed because the shoe is only for women. But before we get into that, I need a couple of things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's sneaker and the video itself. And take a look in that description box. There's some links in the description box. You can go shopping, save some money on certain items, and you can get fly like your boy. My personal brand is linked down there as well. Take a look at that, see some pieces you like, and support the brand, the brand. Now, first of all, in the video, I did mention that I went shopping at one of my favorite brands to wear other than my own. That would be none other than Ralph Lauren Polo. Uh, you know how it is when you go in the store and you see a lot of the items that you already own, so that lets you know you need to chill out. You're buying too much polo. However, it's the summertime and it's hot and you want to cool off, so I like to go to water parks, take my family to the water park, and I need a fresh set of swimming trunks. So, your boy went to two different Ralph Lauren polo outlets, and I bought myself some swimming trunks. Now, here's the first pair. Bright colors, that's right up my alley. Fresh set of uh, swimming trunks. Gotta get the tall, cause you know, I don't do the HDs, can't do the HDs. No, no shot at the people that do wear them, just not for your boy. And these here, I got these for a steal. Brand new, nothing wrong with them. Just my size was on sale for 25 bucks all the rest of the pairs in this colorway was regular $95 but I got mine for $29 so shout out to Polo uh, with that sale because that was the regular price I had the guy go check it it was ringing up 29 and you know your boy I am a coupon guy so I did have a 30% off coupon on deck, so I got additional off. Now we're gonna take a look at the sneaker that we came here to look at. You see the box, regular black Jordan box, red Nike branding. Take a look at that sizing tag, focus. You can see that this is women's sizing. This is the Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG, and the color is black. Dog powder blue and gem red. This is a women's size nine. Uh, I hit this sneaker on the shock drop. This sneaker is a surprise for my daughter and I had it stashed in my sneaker room. However, she found it and was modeling it. She just knew it was for her. So I was like, this little girl here. So I was like, girl, give me that shoe back so I can make this review and show that to the family on YouTube. So I'm looking inside the box top for the lot stamp. I don't see any visible lot stamp up here on top. And these are the sneakers. They come individually wrapped. Just like another sneaker uh, I reviewed on the channel. I'm gonna set them aside because we're gonna look for uh, additional items inside of the box. Got your paper. Here we go. The last stamp is inside the bottom. You can see that right along there. There you go. This is everything that comes with the sneaker. Here's the box. Let's get into the video. Here we go, guys. We have the Women's Air Jordan Retro 1 Low. The UNC to Chicago. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. And uh, 
as I said earlier, disappointingly, these do not come in extended sizes. The biggest size these are going to come in is US size 12 women's, which is a size 10.5 in men's. Now, looking at the sneaker, you may say it looks familiar, yes, because a few years ago, these, these come out in the uh, high OG, and those did come in extended sizes because I do have a pair. Here's my pair right here. So, they almost spot on, but I think the uh, highs got a better leather quality. Get you a closer look at that. It's nice and soft and tumble right in here. Yes, I wore them a couple times. Yep, I be wearing my shoes. I'm trying to wear all of them. I've been on an UnDS tour lately. I've been wearing them. And I did do a lace swap. They did not come with these laces. I bought these laces. On the aftermarket, these came with black laces. The high OGs came with black laces. Now these uh came with the factory lace black. We do have additional laces. Comes in this box. Looks just like this. So when you're getting your pairs early, make sure you they got you right. Make sure you got an authentic pair. But let's get into the review. It's made on an all black base. And this leather, you got that leather on here. It gives off a shiny coat. It's kind of remind me of uh, that low top blue that came out the uh, the Mystic Navy. That's what this black reminds me of. It looks good, but it doesn't look as great as the high OG pair that came out for the women. You do have a dog powder blue uh, swoosh right here. You do have a white midsole with uh, red on the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. All red jaw and one outsole. Come to the back, more of that dark pile of blue on your heel and your heel badge. You do have a Wings logo and black on the uh, heel tab. And we're gonna go to the meat of your side of the sneaker where you do have that dark pile of blue suit coming from the other side. You do have that black leather with a little shine to it on your coil panels as well as your lace eye stains and going around your uh, mud guard you do have that white again on your midsole with the red at the very bottom and we're going to come around to the toe box uh let's rate this toe box leather but first of all let's get this out of here comes with tissue put these strings in here this girl done been modeling in this shoe now the leather on the toe box is pretty good it's pretty soft it's almost yeah it's pretty much just like the pair that I have already just kind of like my personal pair so give you a side by side of the quality of the leather yep yeah, so they got that pretty much right uh comes with the black laces in here and I did show you the red laces it come with. Also it comes with a hang tag. You got a red hang tag. See it's Nike Air. Just like the high OGs. You got that red hang tag that says Nike Air. Uh, you got a black sock liner on these. Let's see the insert. It does come out. You have a red insert black nike air branding on here and this is a dream cell insert let's see we got that size and tag right here let's give you guys a good look at that there's the size and tag let's go ahead and read it u.s women's size 9 production date january the 4th of 2023 to february 23rd of 2023 so you got baby almost three months of production with these at the warehouse that these were made uh not sure what stock numbers are going to be but these are going to release later in the month of august and again they are not coming in extended sizes so if you are a guy or girl and could fit up to 12 women 10.5 in men's you're good to go you can get these but if you're like me the big feet gang side 14, 15 and up, you will not be able to partake in this communion. You're gonna have to go reach back and get your pair of these. But 
That's the video for the day on the Women's Air Jordan Retro 1 Low. You ain't see the Chicago, guys. Going to end the video. Like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.